hello everybody Zalna here and welcome back to my vlog where I talk about how you can change law and policy so land expropriation without compensation has been dominating um, the narrative for quite some time and reasonably so there are so many issues and, and various perspectives around this particular issue so I have a school project wherein I train learners on how to conduct advocacy around policy and law reform. And I thought it was apt to talk about this very emotive um, and historical topic. So today in our class session, we role played um, the portfolio, the ad, one of the ad hoc committees in parliament um, dealing with amending section 25 of this constitution to allow for land expropriation without compensation. Learners were divided um, into various groups that, that represent a particular interest and they had to debate and make a submission on the issue from the point of view of that um, stakeholder. We were very pleased to have the Honorable Faiz Jacobs to chair the session and, and do the introductory remarks. Um, so I've put together some clips um, for you to have a view, to have a look at uh, what we did. And if you'd like to know more about the project or how you can support it, please feel free to, com to contact me. Um, and please also don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye. The local powers in Parliament wrote a law, the Land Native Act, which basically meant that 13% of South Africa is reserved for African black people. So historically we used to be everywhere, the Kosas, the Zulus, the Atemus, all the different tribes used to be in Africa. The Kosas, the Sutus, the, all of them, but for the stroke of a pen, we, we declared Bantu stands, we declared the Skype, uh, all of those parts of the area. So that was... <laughs> jobs and the, the salary and the wages will be low. So for that, I will leave you the question that says, will the business continue to invest to get invest to money into the farmers and in South Africa?